the amount of data that, that's produced in a day uh, in, in this year is probably like 100 times more than it was 10 uh, a decade ago so i mean that was i mean that's really brought about by the internet especially social media it's like the velocity of how um, uh, at the rate at, at which data is manipulated on a daily basis is just enormous and um, and sometimes like companies you know both advertisers and even agencies we, we, we in a way suffer from data overload because you know if especially for di digital agencies we're talking about PPC campaigns you know how many PPC campaigns and social media profiles do we actually <coughs> manage on a daily basis and just imagine the number of interactions and the data that we get from those you know from those profiles and from those assets you know how do we actually I mean do we the first question is do we actually consolidate you know uh, and really mine this data and make sense out of it that makes us a, that makes us a smarter organization with more loyal customers so again that's that's really the question and uh, so my, my talk will re really be all about putting all everything together you know putting all the data sources um, you know all the all the things that we've discussed uh, uh, that was discussed earlier from mobile social search and how how do we actually make sense of all the data and and why do we even have to and the first I guess the first um, uh, proposition or the first main reason of why we have to put everything together is because you know, in digital it's you know everything really is interconnected um, as you see this is actually a an online branding matrix it was developed by one of the uh, consultancy firms but essentially it just says here that you know everything that you do in online advertising social media and online PR and uh, with your website as the main asset you know everything is interrelated what you do in, in one channel will probably have an impact on the other and we've seen this now we've seen I mean just to give you some uh, concrete examples we, we've been we've worked with globe uh, before and uh, we've noticed that every time we would put a you know a heavy uh, display campaign or banner ad campaign there would be a corresponding spike in search queries you know? and uh, again it's 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 it, it's not directly I mean the, the call to action for these banner campaigns are, are, are I mean are, it's not really search but it's you know, we've, we've found out that um, there is a correlation. Every, every time a person sees a banner ad, uh, does it the person doesn't have to automa you know, click on it, but they would actually do a corresponding search right after. Um, we've also seen that every, anything that's being discussed in social would actually, again, have an impact on search. Right? So again, ev everything is interrelated. And even on Facebook, I don't know if you've seen this, but um, they actually measured the impact of likes with actual sales. I think it, it said here that people who like your fan page are six times more likely you know, to respond or to even buy your offer, you know, to, to purchase your product. 